Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another house building video here in The Sims 4. Uh, this one was actually live streamed over on Twitch.tv. You can also see the, the address just there. It was there. Uh, currently I am not doing anything though because I was talking to you guys in the chat. But I will get started very, very shortly. Here we go. Uh, so this is going to be a modern home. It's going to be two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Uh, and yeah, that, that's pretty much the description for it. It's a, it's a nice modern house. Because uh, I really wanted to build a modern home in The Sims 4. Like, I haven't really done anything that modern in terms of design. Like, I've done the family home. I, I did... Uh, what else did I do? I can't even remember what I've done in The Sims 4. Oh, I did that sort of uh, more traditional, uh, larger family home. Uh, and then, yeah, it's mainly sort of family home style things I've done, and a few starters. Nothing particularly sort of out there modern, which is what I was trying to do with this one. I was trying to, I was trying to be a little bit more modern, because I love modern homes, and that's what I wanted to have a go at doing this time around. Uh, it was originally going to be a, a single story home, but then I, I ended up putting on a second story to provide a little bit more space, because that meant I could put the master bedroom up, up on the second floor uh, and, and provide you know, more space downstairs for the living room, dining, and a second bedroom. And that worked out pretty well. Uh, so here we go. Uh, this is looking pretty pretty spot on to a uh, the, the final sort of design in terms of the shape, uh, minus the second level, of course. Um, but yeah, so th this was uh, live streamed on Twitch. I was having a good chat with you guys, doing a little bit of live stream. We had, I think, we had over 500 viewers. That was a lot of fun. Because uh, I, I hadn't I hadn't live streamed for the last couple of weeks or so, so I, I wanted to get back into it. And... Uh, and I, I've been having trouble sort of building, and that's why there hasn't been many building videos lately, because I've been sort of like, I open up the game, like Sims 4 and Sims 3 I had trouble in as well. Like, I open it up, and I just couldn't, like, everything I built, I was just like, nah, that's that's not good, you know. I was in one of those phases where I just couldn't build. Like, I, everything I built, I was just like, nah, I don't like that. And I, that's why there was no building videos, because I just couldn't get anything I liked that much. And then I was like, well, why don't I live stream it? Because that will hopefully give me more motivation and inspiration. And it totally did. So I was able to finish this house. This actually did not take long to build. It was actually about an hour and 20 minutes to like from complete start to complete finish, uh, which is very, very quick as well for a home. And I, I, was, I was actually legitimately surprised that I did it that quickly. Um, considering I've been having so much trouble building lately. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's sort of what happened to it. Uh, I went for a base white coat on the outside to start off with, and then I added those sort of dark gray bricks, and then I wanted to get a nice wooden pattern as well. Uh, so we get the three colors uh, on the house, you know, to mix it up a little bit so it doesn't look too bland or anything like that. Now, I've got these sort of single walls standing away from the house where there's sort of that gap uh, between the actual house and then they got that freestanding wall there. I use those as sort of like, you know, like privacy walls. So like you can have large windows behind them, but then there's like a wall there so people couldn't see. And so you, you don't have to have curtains, uh, whereas those walls sort of act as curtains for the home. And that was, that was the idea for it. And I also added a little bit more detail to it and made it look quite nice. Um, going around, adding all the windows in now and the doors. Uh, we got a... The front door and the sort of rear patio door are actually quite close together and they're on the same deck. So I don't know if I really needed a second door at the back there, but I put it in there anyways because it, you know, why not put a back door in. Uh, so on the, the side parts of the house, I mainly did smaller windows and then where the large sort of, uh, whether the sort of freestanding walls are, I did all the large windows. Like I was saying before, I sort of act as an external sort of curtain of a curtain of privacy to the house. Uh, and that's what I used it as. Uh, so yeah, and the rest of the windows, like I said, are quite small and a little bit more discreet in their nature. Uh, nice large windows upstairs. That is the master bedroom, like I was saying before, which I think turns out quite nicely. Like I have, I, I do an ensuite bathroom, but it's one of those ones that's sort of just like separated by a wall. So it's like, it's like part of the room, but not, I mean, the only problem, I, you'll see what I mean later on. The only problem I have with those is like, if you did like a stinky deuce, it would just stink up the whole room which would be a downside, but um, anyways, moving on. Uh, figuring out where I can put the stairs at the moment, because uh, where I was putting them, it sort of, you know, cut off half of the house. In the end, I decided to put them there at the front of the house. So on that white wall at the front, there's actually no windows, which at first was a little bit, you know, like, oh, that's a bit weird. But then, I, I don't know, it, it kind of worked, because it means there's more privacy around the front of the house, despite that, like, despite there being so many windows. Uh, and then I was able to just sort of add decorations in front of it later on. I added some like little plants and all that to make it look quite nice. Uh, just doing my favorite flooring. That is definitely 
out of the whole of the Sims 4, that, that light wood wood floorboards, those are my favorite flooring in the whole game. I love it so much. It is so perfect. Um, and yeah, there you go. That's the sort of en suite there. I was talking about how it's like sort of part of the room, but sort of not. Um, well, I mean, it is. But yeah, so it's just sort of separated by a wall, and that's where I'm going to put the uh, the ensuite bathroom. Um, <clears throat> I've got the stairs there with a the little detail with a couple of walls around it, and using the glass railing for it to make, keep it nice and modern. Uh, just going around again, doing a base coat of white paint to you know sort of get started. I, I don't think it doesn't change that much uh, the the sort of wallpaper, except in the bedrooms, I, I mix it up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> And uh, I do a sunken kitchen here because a lot of people in the the, the live stream chat were like, oh, do do a, a sunken split level room or something like that. Uh, so I did that in the end. Uh, it's, it's not a massive uh, sort of sunken room. I, I believe I bump up the foundation to two stairs high. At the moment, there's only one, but I make it two stairs high. So it's sort of like a, a couple of steps down into the kitchen dining area. And I think that worked out pretty well. It, it looked quite nice. It gave a nice definition to the area, like it separated it from the rest of the living space. Uh, so, you know, you're like, that. that is definitely the kitchen, uh, which is, is good to know. Uh, some nice orange count counters there, injecting a little bit of color into the room, sort of complementing the warm tone of the, the lights and making it look quite nice. Uh, trying to put in that fancy bin there. It didn't want to place there at all. Like, it, it just wouldn't let me because of the foundation. Uh, I changed, yeah, I changed those stairs bits to, to the bricks there, just to sort of add a little bit of contrast, add some nice tiles in the kitchen, um, you know. In case you spill anything, you want it to be easy to clean up. Recolor the fridge. There we go. We went to the second level on the foundation. Um, and so we just generally played around with it. But uh, I don't know. I, I found once I started, when I once I got going with this house, I really just sort of, you know, like I found it really easy to sort of keep going and keep building with it, which is a problem I've been having with a few other ones. Like I, I built like a whole ton of stuff. Like just, you know, I, I what I what I tend to do is like I build a shell of a house and then I'm like, no, nah, this isn't what I want it to be. Or, you know, this... This doesn't look good. And then that's where I'll stop. Uh, but then with this one, when I got the shell done, I was like, yes, yes, this is it. This is the one. And I'm glad because that was on the live stream. I don't know. Maybe it was just the live stream that sort of gave me the sort of motivation to get it done and enjoy it a little bit more. What is going on with the stairs there? <laughs> oh, there they go. They're back to normal now. Uh, yeah, so I actually do a little breakfast table inside of the, the sunken kitchen area. This is actually the only dining table. It has three chairs because, you know, the house is designed for around about three sims. Uh, you, some may call it cramped, others may call it cozy. I, I call it cozy. I, uh, the problem was, though, I couldn't actually fit a bin in the kitchen uh, where I wanted it to be, so they end up just having an outdoors bin. But, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. You can always, always add a bin somewhere else, or if you just want to, you can get rid of the dining table and put that somewhere else, too. But I, I like the idea of it sort of being in the kitchen, making it feel all sort of cozy, and, you know, I, I, I like that quite a bit. <clears throat> uh, putting in the nice sofas there. Uh, they don't remain white because I didn't. I didn't want this house to be 100% white. I wanted a little bit of a little bit of variation. We went for some dark chocolate sofas. Uh, in my mind, they are nice, comfortable leather sofas, which I don't actually think they are in game. Or oh, maybe they are. I don't know. Uh, TV on the little coffee table. A couple of paintings behind it to give it a little bit of character, and you know, a little bit, little bit of life into the house. It doesn't all have to be sterile white walls. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. yeah, I kind of just got in the groove with this house. I guess it was because because of the live stream. I, I just got in the groove and really enjoyed it. Um, and if you stop by once again, thank you for stopping by the live stream. I will be posting the full live stream uh, later on, probably later on today, or I mean, if you're watching this in the future, it'll already be on the channel. But shortly after this video, I'll post the uh, full live stream. Uh, here on YouTube as well. So if you missed it, and if you want to watch this whole build in. Uh, sort of real time and with face cam and also critic zeus was in in the stream for the most for most of it as well so you can check that out it's kind of a, it's kind of a different experience i feel like these speed build videos are more for like if you want to you know quick taste of building quick inspiration or something like that i think that's what these sort of house building videos are good for you know get through the house quickly if you just want to see a cool house being built or you want a bit of inspiration i think that's what this is good for and then if you just want to hang out you know and and you you know maybe if you're doing some homework or you're you're doing some studying or i don't know it's something you just got something to do you could sort of put on the live stream in the background and just have a listen to it or you know just chill chill and uh watch the stream or something like that but yeah so it's a, I, I think that's um something i'm going to keep doing what like if i do live stream the houses i think i'll I'll also post the uh, the full the full build of it in the live stream form. 
Because I think I think they cater to different audiences. Or if you're really really excited, you can watch both. Uh, <laughs> but that's totally up to you. Uh, so moving on to the the bathroom now. Uh, while I was talking, I did the, the study area and the entrance as well. Uh, here's the the sort of downstairs bathroom. It has a bathtub, a shower, a toilet, and a sink. So it's got everything you could possibly need uh, for your Sims to get ready in the morning. Um, Nice mirrors in there. It's quite it's quite a sterile bathroom as well. Quite white. It's like white. Just just pure white. Black towels though. Get the the black sort of bathrobe there. And I I I, th- I always think um when you have like um I I always feel like I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like black towels and, and like black sort of bathrobes just seem more elegant than white. Plus white gets dirty. You don't want to see that. Uh, yeah, anyways, here is the downstairs bathroom. It is a, like pretty much a four by four room. I was going to make it a full double bedroom like I am now. Uh, but I couldn't fit in a dresser at all. Like there's no way I could fit in a set of drawers so your sim could get changed easily. Uh, so in the end, I just put the, I shoved the bed up against a wall. But of course, you can actually still use that for two sims. Sims can actually scooch over the bed. So you could still have two sims in the room. It just means that if you want to get to the other side of the bed, they'd have to climb over it, which I totally can do, which I think is awesome. But anyway, that allowed me to get in the set of dresses, a set of dresses, a set of drawers as well um, into the room. So it's a, a full featured bedroom uh, with a bed and drawers, which constitutes a full featured bedroom in my eyes. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to put a mirror above those those uh, drawers there, but it was too, I felt it was too high. Uh, getting a little bit more color, sort of matching the, the dark brown with the, the bed and all that. And then make it a little bit more elegant. And getting the mirror in there. I don't know. I, I was trying to I was definitely trying to keep the, the decor quite sort of clean and and modern. Considering I mean that's a style of house, that's what I was going for. I didn't want to go for too much clutter um in this one. Because this like I said, this isn't this isn't supposed to be like a family home, a traditional family home, which I would probably do more clutter items in. Uh this is a little bit more clean, a little bit more edgy. Um and a little bit more stylish. Uh, I've also just noticed uh, where those large windows are. That wall is not currently painted. You will see it in a second. I will. I will fix that up actually after after I record this and and uh, update the gallery file so it is painted. But uh, apologies for that. I only just noticed that. Yeah, there you go. If you look above the windows there, you can see it's not painted. That's annoying. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, so we've got the bed in the center there with nice little paintings above it. Drawers on the right there. Nice big rug. I thought that rug was actually really cool. Sort of went from wall to wall. And I was using those curtains. I put them either side of that large window to sort of look like, you know, you draw the whole curtains across. I thought that was kind of a nice way to do it. Because uh, they, they kind of had, the, the, there was like store content items in The Sim 3 that were like that. And uh, I think they go quite nicely there. Uh, make sure it's all got enough lighting, adding a little bit of actual furniture in the room because there's not much in there at the moment. Uh, you can watch TV in bed. That'd be quite nice, quite relaxing. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was trying to find a nice sort of item I could put on the uh, the dresses there. Just a couple of books. And I, I, li- I like that wooden giraffe. I, I don't know if you've seen them in real life. They're sort of giraffe, uh, wooden giraffe statue things. I don't know. I think I think they're kind of cool. Um, this bathroom was far too small because I wanted to have a, a, a bathtub there looking out the window and I was like well that takes up the entire bathroom space so instead I just extended the wall and made that all part of the uh, sort of ensuite bathroom um, <clears throat> excuse me I have to keep clearing my throat it's it's giving me trouble today I mean if you want you could easily add a uh, extend the wall and add a door if you really wanted it to be private but I, I feel like it's it's on a whole other level when it's uh, it's open it feels like it, you know it's a, it's a five star home that's what it is. It's a five-star home. Uh, which, by the way, you would have already noticed, it's called Cusco's Crib with a K, because Ks are cool. Uh, also, it's it's called that because, well, you I'll, I'll explain it when we get to it. Um, or if you're in the live stream, you already know. Yeah, so I just did a little bit of grass there in front of the wall, and I put those little sort of fern things, and, and changed that white wall to wood. Uh, so th- there's no windows there, but it's quite, it's quite, I don't know, like, I think it's really sort of elegant the way it is. I, I, I don't know. I think it, it turned out quite nicely. I'll, I'll worry about it being too bland at the front in terms of not having any windows, but I think it turned out fine. Like, yeah, I quite like that. Uh, I got these uh, this bamboo plants there on the side, which I, I don't know. I, I just put them down and I was like, hey, they look kind of modern, kind of cool, kind of edgy. Let's put those on there. So I just got a, a little row of them there on the side. Um, I kept the landscaping very sort of, again, going along with the interior and the house design, very sort of simple, very straightforward, elegant, um, I don't know if elegance is the right term. Probably not. Uh, very sort of, you know, 
you know, simple. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Um, <clears throat> yeah, keep me all, all basic, I guess. I was going to put those there. I didn't like it at one bit. I'm going to remove them in just a second. There we go. A couple more trees here and there. A uh, little bamboo plant there on the side. And then I was figuring out, oh, here we go. There's Cusco. If you've ever seen the Emperor's New Groove where he becomes a llama. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it's not really a spoiler at all. Um, yeah, but he becomes a llama. Uh, and, and someone suggested that we name it Cusco's Crib because, you know, we've got a, we've got a llama topiary. And that's what we did. And uh, and someone else in the stream, I can't remember, oh, I can't remember the username, but they're, they're a subscriber on my Twitch, which is really, really appreciated. Um, and they suggested put the llama inside of a fountain, like uh, sort of centered in a fountain. So that's what we did. And I think that looked really awesome. And it was, it was kind of funny. So we ended up calling it, they, they ended up suggesting calling it Cusco's Crib. And that's what we called it. That was really cool. So you can search for it on the gallery using hashtag Cusco, or you can search for hashtag the sim supply, or you can just search up my origin username, which is the sim supply as well. Of course, we are now into the screenshots looking from around the front and we'll make our way around the house on the exterior. Uh, and I, I, I'm really, I'm really happy with this, uh, for such a, a quick build, you know, like a one hour, 20 minute build. I'm really, I'm really happy with it. It turned out well, turned out just how I imagined it would. There's a little Cusco, uh, nice bright blue sky up there as well. It's quite nice. Another shot from around the side. You can see the goth's house in the background. Uh, another uh, shot from the side there. You can see that sort of exterior wall acting as a little privacy curtain. Here's the front door, uh, where we enter, believe it or not. And here's the living space with the uh, the office on the left. Uh, well, the, not the office, I guess the, the computer desk. <clears throat> I figured out that computer is actually custom content. Not custom content, but it was it came from the uh, the Primer Guide uh, game code. I might change that before I uh, like when I repaint the wall as well when I upload the gallery because I don't think it really matters. But it comes off as a big thing, saying, "Oh, you just came from Primer Guide." Uh, game guide thing, so I think I might just replace that with a regular game computer. Um, and there's the bathroom. I kind of talking over the rest of it there. The downstairs bedroom, pretty simple. Uh, another angle of it there. You can see beautiful pi picturesque outside the window. Uh, here's the master bedroom. <laughs> the giraffe's head there sticking up over the dresser, looking very fancy. You can see that where the tiles for the bathroom are behind. And uh, we'll have a look at that right now. There it is. And I think we jump into the uh, just the floor plans now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, so you can download this, of course. Uh, like I said before, hashtag Cusco in the gallery. Hashtag the Sim Supply. You'll find it there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.